at draft watch parties across the city and the suburbs. ABC 7's Eric Hong live in Park Ridge where friends and supporters of Northwestern's Peter Skaronsky cheered him on as he was chosen in the first round. Eric. Robin Cheryl, we're at Harp and Fiddle in downtown Park Ridge, where it felt like there was an earthquake around 8.30 tonight when Peter Skaronsky was chosen number 11 by Tennessee. His family, no stranger to the NFL. His grandfather actually played for the Packers, and now this Maine South alum is also heading to the pros. Tonight in Park Ridge, all eyes on the draft. Friends and supporters of Peter Skaronsky toasting his ticket to the NFL. I did just shed a few tears. Um, Peter's such a great guy and he's so humble and I've never met a nicer person than him. I've got two sons of my own and Peter provides someone to, for them to look up to and he was just raised right. Tennessee! The 21-year-old offensive lineman starred for the Northwestern Wildcats, the school tweeting this video tonight. Skaronsky graduated valedictorian from Maine South High School, which he led to a state championship. The day he stepped on the field, he was a freshman playing our sophomore team, his very first block, and I just went, this guy's unbelievable. In this 2018 game, Skaronsky squared off against Barrington defensive lineman Lucas Van Ness. And tonight, Van Ness, who played college for Iowa, was chosen 13th by the Packers. For Bears fans, there's hope this 2023 draft class will usher in a new era of winning. At his Soldier Field watch party, fans excited about the Bears picking Darnell Wright. I wanted to protect Fields, so any help on that offensive line is going to be good help, and he's a great player. Back live in Park Ridge, where there are a lot of current Maine South football players here at this watch party. No doubt inspiring for them to see a former player, Peter Skaronsky, achieve his dreams. Live in Park Ridge, Eric Hong, ABC 7, I witnessed it. Okay, thanks a lot, Eric. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.